Hi everyone, Galena here for Studio Katya. For today's card I use this big snowflake stencil and a few stamps from Winter Release. I'm placing the stencil on the white card panel. My card panel is standard size of any A2 card. The stencil itself is quite large, so you can use it for a bigger card size too. Using blending brush I'm going to apply Dissers ink through the stencil. I picked a bright blue color called Salty Ocean and I want to create an ombre effect on my card with a dark area in the center and light blue edges. I'm applying ink in the center with a circular motion and hard pressure. With these brushes you will have no harsh strokes, but I'm tapping off uh, extra ink of the brush just in case. I want to create a little window in the center of my card and I'm cutting out a window using biggest die from Elegant Scallop Oval die set. I'm picking white card base for my card and I'm going to create the inner scene of the card. I'm applying yellow distress ink on the bottom and I'm touching the card base with a blending brush very lightly to get a light shade of yellow. Next I'm applying pink color in similar way. I don't have to be very accurate on edges since this area will not be visible. To complete my winter scene I'm going to add this Christmas tree image from the Happy Snowman stamp set. I'm stamping the tree on a piece of white paper with black ink. I'm using Nuvo Hybrid ink, it's an alcohol marker friendly ink, because I'm going to color my image with Copic markers. And to color this cute tree I'm using a light green and a dark green shades of Copic markers. No matter which shades of markers you pick, just keep in mind to pick contrasting colors. You can use any medium you have like pencils or watercolors or you can keep this tree uncolored or stamp it in colored ink. There are a lot of choices here. If you choose to color the tree with markers, start with lightest color and color the whole tree. Next apply a darker green color in the center of each branch and blend it with a light green marker. Repeat these steps if you want to get more intensive colors of the image. Once I was done coloring, I cut out the tree with a coordinating die. Now back to the card panel. I picked a sentiment from the same stamp set and I'm stamping it under the die cut window with a bright red ink. In the last moment I decided to add shine to my card. To do that I'm applying a strong liquid glue on the top of the card panel. I'm simply tapping the glue on the paper with my finger and while glue is still wet I'm covering it with Studio Katia Sparkle Glitter. I'm pressing it down with a piece of paper and removing extra glitter with a dry brush. And here is the result. You can make a shiny frame on the card panel as well, simply add a glue around the edges of your card panel. I foam mounted the card panel onto the card base. Now I'm placing the tree inside the die cut window. To embellish my Christmas tree I made in a few crystal stars. I always use Studio Katia glue to order any embellishments, especially tiny ones, because I know it will hold them strongly and will always dry transparent. Here's my finished card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to Studio Katia YouTube channel. See you soon, bye!